Hello everyone, so we're starting a new session today May 7, some Blitz games Let's see, so right now I think I'm at exactly 2500 So let's see if I can uh, gain some rating points So we're playing against the Modern now Clearly their intention is to go d5 against that I just go here, play a 4 for now. Now their plan is usually use something like knight f5 and bishop g4. So I just uh, I start with knight f3 here and then just bishop e2 and after knight f5 bishop f2 and later on queen yep so queen d2 now and long castles and actually I really like these kinds of positions for uh, for white I believe <laughs> for white I believe yeah as if uh, I'm not sure of the side um, yeah so here I play h3 and just win the bishop okay let's maybe wait a bit let's wait a bit and now I play h3 and I can play g4 now they can stop that with h4 which they almost always do and against that now I could go for like knight e2 and prepare g4 and in general I like this position because if you think about it this knight also has some problems now they're playing this usually they ca like not usually but no actually in this line sorry in the Gurgenitsa they don't so um, if I want to open up the h file the spawn might become a bit weak but otherwise I don't have many avenues to uh, play the position uh, now having said that maybe I can just go queen b4 for the time being and prepare some rook lift here and go here now now bishop f8 I just go queen a4 yes might go knight b6 okay they don't um, this move, okay, they're threatening a fork with that, so I should be careful, but I don't mind giving up the dark squared bishop, right? I don't think I do. And now I come here. And maybe something like this is on the cards. Or maybe not. I need to be careful of some knight d4, so this is a bit tricky. Okay, they're threatening here as well. So maybe just... Maybe just this. Is this too stupid? Just pinning the guy. The bish. Now I have to admit I kind of misplayed this, but I'm still in the game. Now I'd like to play something like this. So I'll start that now. They can't play knight d4, I just take. And this bishop could at any moment come to life. So, oh shoot, I allowed this. And actually I have... Oh, no, no, I, I didn't allow this. <laughs> the queen is still pinned. Um, yeah, so... Okay, maybe come back. I don't see why not. Maybe then this. Overall, not so accurate by me, but... It's not too bad, I guess. Now, queen before can't be played because of knight takes c5, so that's important. Okay, here I can just take. Okay, they do this, but maybe this. The point is taking and then taking here. Okay, they don't go for that. And now here I have this check at any moment and I can bring the bishop here. So this should be reasonable for me, I guess. I have maybe rook c6 as well. Maybe not now. Okay, now I'm preparing rook c6 definitely, which is good. Okay, I just take... What? He blundered. He can't take back. Yeah, that was a big blunder by them. What? Ah, they can come around here. Yeah, I thought they had something. Um, I need to find something, shoot. 
let's do this preparing this so that does seem a bit crazy <laughs> now that I look at it ah they okay they don't have bishop a3 because I have queen queen takes a3 so and bishop c3 okay here maybe just this trying to threaten some check all right maybe some check okay i need to speed up now desperately so i think i'm going to lose this game to be honest shoot yeah don't allow that that no no okay with the trackpad it's really difficult i should really stop playing with the trackpad Actually, I'm doing fine now. Woo! Whew, okay. Yeah, so that was terrible. <laughs> but hey, we got the job done there. Awesome. So. <laughs> Alright, let's analyze this game. I should just run the computer analysis as well. Doesn't hurt. Actually, it does hurt environmentally. <laughs> but... Uh, it's only a bit actually Leeches has done well to control uh, the server usage in terms of climate change all right so yeah here i must stop big time wow where is why is this so what what happened here oh apparently <laughs> like it's unbelievable queen takes hmm. that's so surprising it makes sense, of course, because after queen takes h6, a6, there's nothing here. Now, my problem was, isn't that I want queen a6 and didn't think. <laughs> my problem was that after queen takes a6, king b8, I thought I had some check or rook c8 or something with queen d6. Like, all of these ideas were in my mind, but all of them don't work. Yeah, I thought I had queen d6 mainly was the problem that the bishop covers. It's surprising that something like this doesn't mo lose, but yeah, this is fine and this also no actually wait hold on <laughs> sorry for that so rook takes c3 actually i was thinking about this which is winning for me but if this it's also probably winning right yeah i just have two pawns or one pawn but they're all on the king side, uh, queen side. So that should be good. Yeah. What? Only 0 0.6? That's insane. All right. So what's the reason? Queen d2, they have some pressure. Okay, I can... I can kind of accept that, I guess. Alright, let's see if there was anything else. So in the opening, usually I play well against the Gurgenitsi. Ah, it's like this, right? Yeah, something like this is what I know. The queen has to be on f3, maybe. Are you castle short? No, I like castling long. The engine doesn't seem to like it a lot. Anyway, bishop, bishop b2 should be fine, bishop f2. I, I've played this system for a while. Yeah, I was going to mention, guys, that I can play g3, so that after h3, h4, I can play g4. So let's say this, let's say they play castles. Now I can play this, because after takes, takes h4, I can play this. Which is much better. Now knight g3, I probably go here and... Yeah, I can try to win a pawn. Though in the Gurgenitsi, winning the pawn isn't amazing, but... Yeah. I could have tried that. 
Anyway. 95. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're still in analysis. Okay, so the game. Oh, yeah, I should have played G3. I don't know why. I was misremembering something like H3. H3 is fine sometimes in the Gurgenitsu, but in general you should go G3 to prevent this H4 idea. So I just got confused. I know all of this, but again, I'm a bit rusty. And also, I don't face the Gurgenitsu much. And <laughs> who does? I mean, B3, maybe going for some C4 ideas, which is. I played C4 later on in the game, but C4 here. Yeah, I didn't really. This kind of plan of mine was a bit stupid. C4 here, yeah, I really kept missing C4, to be honest, C4 again. Ah, 93 I didn't uh, appreciate. Yeah, yeah, this this queen, I, I know that this queen also, I know a lot of things, but <laughs> just uh, in practice you seem to forget everything and just mix up everything. Yeah, like, I know the screen isn't well placed here, it's kind of getting stuffed with these moves. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so rook c3 was also a mistake. Here, yeah, I didn't quite want to admit that I messed this position up, which is of course a mistake. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I should have admitted that I messed this position up and just tried to go for some sort of draw or something. I, or at least like um, decreasing white's uh, black stronghold over the position. So yeah, that was stupid. I just wanted to win, basically. I thought this was clever, but I missed knight e3. Yeah. So the point here is that something like this gets met with, which is only a draw, huh? I wanted to play this, seeing that the. This square is covered. Ah, but I missed queen d3 check, queen f1 check. Okay. Yeah, then yeah, then that's just a draw. Which I should have been fine with. And yeah, I guess bishop e2 first, preventing queen b5. I missed that. I only now saw queen b5 here in this position after rook c1. And this is just a blunder. Of course, I told you why I didn't play queen takes a6, but yeah, this is easy to see. Because I'm attacking the rook, and if the rook moves wherever, I just come and checkmate. Yep, and that's a reasonably easy mate to see. Reasonably easy. <laughs> just have to know the pattern. And here it ended up being drawn, but here I had no time. I should have accepted the draw, but I wanted to go for a win, and I was rewarded for that. And playing on a trackpad is really tough now. Like the way my opponent played as well, I guess they're on a trackpad as well, or they're maybe not too fast with the mouse because, yeah, most people should be able to flag me here. The problem is like the trackpad makes it slower, and I mean, <laughs> I'm. Uh, like I'm, I, I'm quite slow on the trackpad as well. I'm much more used to a mouse and something, I don't know. I'm just not fast on trackpad. So all right, good game. Learned some things in the Gurgenitze. All right guys, so that's it for this Blitz video. We're going, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue the session, play some more, maybe like five more games. May 7, 2022 Blitz session. Take care guys.